Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Alice Francis. You're watching Unplug TV India. Let's get started with today's top news. India witnesses slight drop in COVID cases. More than 2 lakh positive cases registered. 871 deaths. Punjab CM candidate Bhagwant Maan files for nomination from Dhuri. Navjot Singh Sidhu files from Amritsar East. Akhilesh Yadav appeals election commission of India to conduct probe after his helicopter was stopped in Delhi on Friday. Goa elections, Michael Lobo among British candidates. Kejriwal declares 10 guarantees from Punjab's urban areas, no new taxes if voted to power. Now, news in details. India reported a slight decline in new COVID-19 cases, with the country reporting 2,35,532 infections in a day. India's total tally of cases increased to over 4 crores. According to the Union Health Ministry data, the death toll has risen to 4,93,198 with 871 fatalities reported in the last 24 hours. Active cases fell by 1,1278 and now stands at 20,4333. The total number of anti-COVID vaccines doses administered in the country has surpassed 165 crores. Bhagwat Maan, the Aam Admi Party's candidate for Chief Minister, filed his nomination from Dhuri on Saturday. Maan, who is currently an MP from the Sangurur Lok Sabha seat, will now run for the Dhuri constituency in Sangurur district. Navjot Singh Sidhu filed his nominations for the upcoming elections on Saturday. Sidhu has signed the nominations on behalf of Punjab Congress Chief and as the party's candidate from Amritsar East. Currently, Sidhu is a sitting MLA from the seat Shirmoni Akali Dal. Akhilesh Yadav, President of the Samajwadi Party, has requested that the Election Commission of India investigate allegations that his helicopter in Delhi was stopped by the Bharatiya Janta Party-led central government ahead of his press conference in Muzaffarnagar. BJP can do anything before the elections, claims Akhilesh. According to the SP chief's schedule, his press conference in Muzaffarnagar was scheduled for around 1 p.m. on Friday but he was in Delhi until around 2.30 p.m. He didn't, however, take a helicopter Muzaffar Nagar after some time. Former BJP Minister Michael Lobo, the richest MLA of the outgoing Goa Legislative Assembly, remains among the richest MLAs, with assets worth upwards of 84 crore, nearly doubling from the 49 crore he was worth in 2017. Lobo, who defeated from the Bharatiya Janta Party and has been representing the Kalangut constituency, arguably the epicenter of Goa's beach-centric tourism industry, owns a slew of tourism properties, including start hotels, entertainment venues and clubs. After announcing several guarantees for various sectors in the state, Aam Admi Party National Convener and Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal on Saturday announced 10 new guarantees, including no new tax and no hikes in the existing taxes for cities in pole bound Punjab. Kejriwal, accompanied by AAP State President and Party's Chief Ministerial Face Bhagwant Maan, addressed a press conference in Jalandhar on Saturday. Kejriwal announced that there was a serious issue of cleanliness across cities including Ludhiana, Bhatinda, Amritsar and Jalandhar. If AAP was voted to power, it would provide best cleanliness facilities including proper sewage, drainage, solid management in the cities so they look beautiful. Thank you. That's all for today. For more updates, stay connected with Unplugged TV India.